What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 53 on the channel. And uh, before we begin today's episode, um, I just want to say that I did make a few quick changes to, to the team. As you guys can see, I added Contrary Superior over Dragalge because um, Contrary Superior was actually not released when I had started or when Wonder Bread passed me this team. And I wasn't really liking Dragalge because it had an unfavorable matchup versus a lot of the tier right now just because it's a lot faster and it doesn't have a lot of switch in opportunities. So uh, I replaced that with uh, Superior and I also put Haze on Omastar as per the suggestion of Brandon, uh, aka Brandon Lumber Forever. So big shout out to him and thank you for the help. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until I get a battle. So... Because I don't want to leave you guys waiting. I don't want to have a battle like that. You feel? Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. And uh, we hit Bird Spam, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and lead Omastar, though. Actually, do I try to get the jump on him and lead Rhyperior? That'd be pretty sick. I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I think he's going to lead with this. Because uh, this seems like the logical lead for him, right? Because um, he can taunt me turn one. Yeah, he does lead with Kobe, which is very nice. I'm just going to go straight away for the EQ. If he doubles out in a crest, that's fine by me. Um, I do have uh, an answer to crest, which is my uh, superior. Because I can keep spamming Leaf Storm, which is very nice. And I can kind of prevent crest from just being a, literally a sitting duck the entire game. A sitting moon duck. But he's just, he actually does the pseudo-sash. <laughs> Wonder Bread, this Rhyperior is not strong enough. Um, do I rock polish right here? No, it's far too early. Anyway, I had a bubble in my throat right there. I'm just going to go straight away for another EQ. Um, getting rid of this Cobalion is very, very nice. Um, because it does allow me some leeway with uh, Superior late game, but Superior actually has a really bad matchup versus his team. While it does beat these three members of his team with relative ease, it has trouble versus the two birds, which is actually why I need Rhyperior, so I'm going to hope that a Showdown lets me switch out, and I'm going to go straight out into Omastar right here. Um, and I know that seems like a really weird play, because I should be getting rocks up right here with uh, Omastar. Uh, but he ends up just going for the CC, and, uh, but this will be nice, because I should outspeed him, uh, right here, and I can get on my rocks, and then I can go out into him only. I or Omastar can just be, like, the slowest thing on the face of this planet and not outspeed, which is actually really disappointing, because, uh, my plan there was to take the close combat, get my rocks up, and, uh, then go into Hitmonlee and uh, fake him out and do all that stuff. And he ends up going out into Pidgeot, which is fine. Because uh, I'm just going to go out into my Hitmonlee right here. And uh, I can hit him with a fake out real quick. Which uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. And uh, hopefully, 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 um, I can start to uh, get some stuff moving versus his team. That'd be nice. Because uh, fake out plus Stone Edge will be able to knock him out. So it's not really a problem. He goes out into Cabalion. Uh, lets me get my boost, my boost for free, and uh, is knockoff gonna kill? I don't think knockoff's gonna kill. To be honest, I don't think it is 13%. Um, I don't want to go for an HK though. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. I'm, I I'm just gonna hope it kills. I'm not really gonna calculate. Okay, it killed. Sweet. Uh, so now this forces him out into his flesh ender right here, which is very nice because I can go straight away for a stone edge once he once he does bring it out. Um, if he tries to set up an SD or something, I'm fine with that because I can just click uh, Stone Edge and uh, hopefully knock him out. So, um, right here, uh, that's how it's that's how it's gonna be. That's pretty disappointing. I'm gonna go for another Stone Edge right here. Um, now him only is pretty useless for the rest of the battle, which is disappointing. But I'm gonna go straight at him right here because I have a Lumberry. All I gotta do is hit this one stone edge, and I should be okay. And I can just, like, run like a train through the rest of his team with Rock Polish right here, here because um, once I get Pidgeot out of the way, which shouldn't be too hard, to be honest, then I just beat him with Meloetta plus Superior. He goes out in the Moon Duck and takes 31%. That was stupid. Uh, I'm gonna go straight out into Superior, though, because I do think Superior is my best switch right here, because I can start firing... Oh, wow, sorry about that. I can start firing off some Leaf Storms, and uh, hopefully... Um, 
beat this crest 1v1. Hopefully he didn't make a good double right there. No, he went for the move blast. It's all good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, that's something that I don't think he would have liked right there. But I'm just going to go straight away for the plus one leaf storm because something is getting donked on his team. Superior actually isn't super powerful, but um, I can uh, hit him with uh, that right there. That, that did 54%. I'm plus three. It's not a problem. Give me another boost. I dare you. Uh, now I'm going to go for the Giga Drain right here, I think, because I do want to get some health back. I want to keep Superior pretty healthy um, because it does beat Lantern on his team relatively easily, even though I shouldn't. <laughs> Where's the boost? <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's funny. Um, and I, since I am running Meadow Plate, not Life Orb, I don't have to suffer a lot of the uh, extra damage. But, hey, I'm pleased with the superior damage output right there. I will take that any day of the week. He goes out in Fletch, and uh, I think I'm going to go out in Meloetta, to be honest. Uh, Meloetta does seem like a pretty safe switch for me, because if he goes for the Willow, then I can just take that easily. He goes for the Acro and does 55%, so that's a problem. But I'm just going to go out in Rhyperior, because I know he's not going to Willow right here. I just don't see him doing it. Uh, he wants to knock me out. He doesn't want to get knocked out. Uh, so he did 15% right there. And now that Moon Duck is out of the way, uh, things become a lot easier for my team because I can just go for the Stone Edge right here. Uh, because even if he willows me, like I said, I have my thing. And it shouldn't, like, and by my thing, I mean my Lumberry. So as long as I hit the Stone Edge, then I'm A okay. Um, and to be honest, I don't think that. Okay, he goes into Pidgeot right here. Gone. Destroyed. Uh, and I was going to say, and I think to be honest, I don't think the Moonblast one mattered that much. Uh, will I outspeed this? There's a chance I won't. Uh, I'm going to go out into Meloetta right here uh, because I don't want him Volt switching into... Like, because I think for him, his best play would be clicking Volt switch and then just going from there. We'll see. Yeah, he just goes for the Skull, though. That's fine. Uh, he gets the burn, which is a little unfortunate. But that just means I go into Superior, and uh, I fire off a Leaf Storm right here, which is going to get a kill versus his team. Um, he doesn't really have that many switch-ins, and this is one thing stopping... Uh, this is one thing stopping... Dougie... Er, my bad. This is one thing stopping uh, Pidgeot from cleaning up versus his team. And so Leaf Storm is going to do a nice 25%. And, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with the stay in right here. To be honest, I feel like he's not gonna acro. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. I feel like he's gonna Willow, predicting my theory here, because that would be my switch right here. And if I can do this, then that's pretty cool, but he just goes straight away for the acro, which is fine, um, because I can go out and right here, right here, and, uh, act like I didn't choke away that much. <laughs> um, anyway... So, I'm just going to Rock Polish right here, actually, because I feel like that is my best play. Um, I gotta... Okay, that did no damage. Um, I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge right here, and I gotta pray that... Uh, this thing isn't Sash. If that thing's Sash, I may just straight up lose, because I don't have a whole lot for it at that point. But, uh, if it isn't Sash, and it's like Choice Band or Life Orb, then I think I have one. See though, from the way he brings it in, I'm fairly certain it is Sash, so that's disappointing. And he crits me. Um, fairly certain that crit matter, to be honest. Uh, but that's gonna be a good game. I just can't get any luck right now. But like, yeah, you, you know, I'm not gonna blame that game on the Stone Edge miss. Did the Stone Edge miss suck? Yes, because like clearly I had to play a different way around that Fletch Ender right there. But is it? Uh, was it super impactful? No. Uh, I'm gonna go for the hurricane right here. I gotta hope he misses a stone edge in return. That would be pretty nice. But if he doesn't, then he doesn't, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. And uh, we're just gonna have to live with it. Um, I mean, I suppose I can still beat. No, no, man, I can't beat that. Are you kidding me? I gotta like. Okay. Give me a chance. <laughs> um, that did 20%. I needed the confusion. Okay, I, I gotta go for the confusion right here, guys. Um, if I can get the confusion, that'd be pretty sick. Ah, no, okay, so uh, that's gonna be a good game. So, uh, if you guys didn't enjoy, enjoy today's episode of uh, Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today. Never mind, he actually wasn't Sash, so that's lame. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and calc that real quick. Um, 
Would Earthquake have killed me? Uh, Doug Trio. You, you, choice banned. Yeah, he was probably banded. Versus, uh, Rhyperior. So, if he was banded, I don't think it mattered. Uh, UU defensive, except for the fact that that is zero HP. Uh, Earthquake, yeah, Earthquake would have killed either way. So, you know, right here, if you weren't so slow, we wouldn't have had a problem. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Life, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's common question of the video. Which is, uh, which, uh, have you guys tried Contrary Superior yet? What have you guys thought of it? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. With that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.